Hey guys, it's uh, it's your boy Wings again, and um, I really want to uh, talk about something that's very important in my life. Uh, you know, I went to, um, well, I, well, I didn't go to, but I felt like going to MLG Raleigh about two years ago, and um, MLG Raleigh was uh, very good in my life, and it was exciting because I get to be around all the MLG players, and did, um, um, and um, 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 uh, well. This this one time, um, my dog. I got a dog, and oh, by the way, uh, if you uh, give me water, I get hydrated. But I got a dog one time, um, and it uh, it, well, the dog took a poop, and uh, that poop, um, um, man, um, why do hell do people listen to commentaries like this? I, I was watching some other stuff, and I'm like. There's people around the, my same size as me that come off like this. All they do is say, um, over and over and over again. Come up with the most monotone crap. And then put it with the most boring gameplay as humanly possible. I mean, I, I, I realize that my channel is not the bee's knees anymore. And I realize that what I do is getting stale. Well, hell, but you know, like Legend of Thunder. I mean, his channel is nothing but bickering and it, it's blowing up. Why don't I go back to bickering? Because it's what I'm good at. I can't stand stand gimmicks i do i can't stand when a channel's run off a gimmick i can't stand when somebody's being fake i hate fakers you know why i hate fakers because fakers are people that are going to stab you in the back they're untruthful and you have people standing around astonished when when they actually crack later on in life when when somebody that you realize is supposed to be this great wonderful person ends up being a total and complete turd you realize they were a faker they were a person that will say and do anything it takes to succeed and I hate those kind of people. You probably hate those kind of people. How many of you guys are listening to this conversation right now actually have a job? I'm pretty sure a good of you said yes. And at that job, I bet you there's a cocksucker. We all know who that cocksucker is. And I'm not talking about, you know, Jenny from the block. I'm talking about a real fucking deal cocksucker. The metaphorical kind. The kind that will go behind your back and tell you the boss that you, you took an extra bathroom break or some bullshit to try to better himself in life. You know, that straight, real deal, devil in the eyes cocksucker. That kind of person. And I see a person that, that fakes their personality as that same type of person. That same per type of person that is willing to do anything to get ahead of you. To use your back as a stepping stone. That's the same kind of person that will come to you in a YouTube message and ask for a shout out or to look at their videos without even supporting your own. You know what the first thing I do is when somebody asks me for a shout out? I go look at their channel and look at their feed and see if they liked any of my videos in the last week. Because I don't expect everybody to watch every video I put out, but I do expect somebody that wants something from me to watch at least one video a week. And you know what most of the majority of them are? Majority of them aren't even subscribed to me. They're, they're using me as a fishing net. What is a fishing net? Fishing net's a term well, a fishing net's something that you catch fish with, but the, the way I'm using fishing net is a term to throw out a big line and catch the most fish possible. People do this on dating sites all the time. What they do is they create a they create a, to a note file that puts in what they're looking for, and they send it to every female that they find desirable. And then after the, after the, everybody responds, you have a responding pool of like 15 females, and you slowly work it out from there to see who you're compatible with. And this. <laughs> is where we're at you have youtube ruled by these people that don't have their own kind of personalities if you have any type of your own personalities you try to hide every bad flaw in it and i'm not trying to say it's just be a snake oil salesman here like oh yeah my shit's the bomb i mean my shit sucks too it does i mean i don't have the proper work ethic i don't have the proper editing skills and talent all i pretty much have is the ability to play video games and I realize this. All I do have is the ability to play video games and I have no fucking filter. There's no filter between my brain and my mouth. Thus, I say shit that gets me in trouble all the damn time. Hell, it's just the way I am. I only can be the one person and that is me. Because I don't want to be that guy that steps on somebody. I don't want to be that guy that, you know, just got done stepping on, you know, Joe from accounting and then drive right by somebody because I'm afraid that the hitchhiker is going to slash my throat. It's bullshit. You're a scared person, you're a coward, and that's all you are at the end. It might be successful, you might have people placated, but guess what? Every dream runs out. At one point, I was the top of YouTube. Now... I'm, I don't even think people re recognize me as an original commentator. 
It's been your boy Wings of Redemption, and I did this video because I'm tired of seeing where YouTube is heading. And, you know, even if it takes my channel down the drain, fuck it. Leave a like rating because I need them. It's been your boy, Jody Jordan. Cat 40, Jody. Peace.